I am Steven School, and I'm just getting ready to make some lemon balm tea. Join me in a video, if you will. So I've got the herb lemon balm here, Melissa Fish and Alice, and I want to do a YouTube video series on uh, the Primum ENS Melissa or the Elixir of Youth. As some people call it. And I'm going to be doing some videos in a series, and it's going to be in a playlist on YouTube called um, Alchemy and the Elixir of Youth. I'm getting ready to get started, but for now, I'd like to start with some lemon balm tea. with me for a moment. This is store-bought distilled water. I'm not using tap water. When I have something good, I don't want to add whatever may be coming out of the kitchen faucet into it. Enough, we'll get it brewing. I got these herbs from San Francisco Herb Company, Melissa Efficialis Lemon Balm. It's a member of the mint family. In alchemy, lemon balm was said to be the ingredient in a recipe called the Primum ENS Melissa, which was. Uh, supposed to be a restorative and rejuvenative elixir. I put a decent bit of the herb in there, so we'll see how it looks. Uh huh. There's that gold color I remember. Okay, I'm looking up uh, 
health benefits of lemon balm while the tea is brewing on Google. It says showing results for health benefits of lemon balm. It can help relieve stress. It can help relieve anxiety. It may boost cognitive function. It can help ease insomnia and other sleep disorders. It may help treat cold sores. It may help relieve indigestion. It can help treat nausea. A whole bunch of other things are listed. Toothache, headache, menstrual cramps. What is the herb lemon balm good for? Lemon balm is used for anxiety, stress, insomnia, indigestion, dyspepsia, dementia, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support many of these uses. In foods and beverages, the extract and oil of lemon balm are used for flavoring. Is lemon balm anti-inflammatory? RA in lemon balm has demonstrated more active antioxidant activity compared to a tocopherol 13 due to its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory effects. RA has part of the chemical composition of lemon balm is effective in relieving symptoms of atopic dermatitis. Interesting. I was hoping for that. So in other words, this stuff on my leg, I think they mean it'll help this stuff on my leg. And this stuff looks like it needs help. So we'll come back to that. In alchemy, lemon balm was said to be the ingredient in an elixir of youth. So, today is the 12th, right? April 12th. April 12th, 2021. And you see what I look like today. So, after I do this series of videos on lemon balm, we'll come back and see if I look the same or any different. Now, it's starting to brew pretty good. Is lemon balm bad for the liver? It has been proved that high concentrations of flavonoids increase production of reactive oxygen species by auto-oxidation. Auto These cases show that consumption of high doses of lemon balm, hydroalcoholic, hydro alcohol extract in the short period causes toxicity effects on liver cells. Biochemical liver and renal toxicities of lemon of, mis of, mis of Melissa officinalis. Is lemon balm good for immune system? Lemon balm, a citrusy, fragrant herb that comes from the mint family. Lemon balm is such a delicious addition to drinks and dishes that alone is reason enough to enjoy it. But the immunity-boosting properties make it all that much better. That sounds good. Treat your immune system. Veggies, berries, and herbs. Can you take lemon balm every day? Let me pour some of this. Look at that lovely gold color. It's going to be hot and I don't have any ice cubes, so I'm going to let it start cooling off. Dang it. Making a mess here. Color looks good. I think we got some good extract from the plant just by brewing it in this coffee maker. Let's 
see. It says here it's good for PMS uh, symptoms. Does lemon balm raise blood pressure? Lemon balm may lower blood your lemon balm may lower your blood pressure and therefore should be used with caution if you are taking medications with similar properties. It can also lower your blood sugar levels. Some people with diabetes should use lemon balm with care. Is lemon balm poisonous? Lemon balm is considered safe for short-term use. Side effects may include headache, nausea, bloating, gas, vomiting, indigestion, dizziness, stomach pain, painful urination, anxiety, and agitation. The risk of side effects tends to increase with the size of the dose. Is lemon balm bad for thyroid? Thyroid disease. Don't use lemon balm. There is a concern that lemon balm may change thyroid function, reduce thyroid hormone levels, and interfere with thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Does lemon balm tea make you sleepy? The citrus scented aromatic herb has been used for reducing stress and improving sleep since the Middle Ages. Evidence shows that lemon balm increases GABA levels in mice, indicating that lemon balm may act as a sedative. Is lemon balm an antiviral? Lemon balm with its antiviral properties appears to speed the healing of cold sores and reduce symptoms when applied topically as a cream. Lemon balm has antiviral properties. Does lemon balm keep mosquitoes away? Lemon balm contains high levels of a compound called citronella, which gives it a lemony aroma and flavor that bugs find so, un so unpleasant. The lemon scent, which repels the bugs, is powerful. It rubs off very well. We got cut off there. So in other words, it says uh, lemon balm repels mosquitoes and gnats. Can I eat lemon balm leaves? I especially like to toss a few fresh leaves into a salad or bowl of mixed fresh fruit or use it in a vinaigrette for marinades and salads. It also makes a great herb butter. It's also a common ingredient in herbal teas. A handful of fresh lemon balm and mint makes an excellent hot or iced tea, especially with honey. Alright, is lemon balm a diuretic? The leaves of lemon balm Melissa officinalis L. Lamiacea are used in Iranian folk medicine for their digestive, carminative, antispasmodic, sedative, analgesic, tonic, and diuretic properties, as well as for functional gastrointestinal disorders. Okay, that's enough of the rundown. Wish I had some ice cubes, it's still pretty, pretty warm. All right, it tastes good. There's my lemon tea, lemon balm tea. Be sure to subscribe to the Alchemy or the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. And remember, do not try this at home. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.